boy DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? What's good with it? It's your boy DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? Riding High Podcast. We back with another one on one interview, you know what I'm saying? Today I got my dog. Alex Skates up in here helping me with the interview today, you know what I'm saying? Today we got my dog representing that TMP, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Been putting it down for a long time with this rap shit, chasing rap dreams from a young age. Damn right. California, back to Texas, you know what I'm saying? Places in between, you know what I'm saying? Dallas, Texas, all, all over with this rap shit, you know what I'm saying? We got my dog. Droopy M up in the building today representing that TMP, you know what I'm saying? What's good with it, man? Man, what's good? What's good, y'all? It's going down, baby. Chilling, chilling, man. For sure, for sure, man. Where you from, Droop? I'm from Corpus Christi, man. For sure. What part of Corpus <laughs> Christi, man? Uh, actually, man, I grew up right there in Annaville, man. Already. Right there on the northwest side. What was it like growing up out there in Annaville as a youngster, man? Uh, Nothing. I... It's kind of the same thing right now, man. It's kind of country, but it's kind of not. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what part of Annaville did you live in? More like a city, the city version of Annaville, or were you living in like the country version of Annaville? No, nah, no, nah, I lived in the city version of Annaville. Oh, really? But I mean, but even, but even on top of that though, too, it's still like country, man. You know what I'm saying? Because like the city part, it'd be like it'd be like right here, it'd be like a block full of like houses, houses right there, next there, to each there, other, yeah. And then right across the street, man, be number field. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Like, it's just, oh, I feel you. Hell yeah, yeah, so it's kind of yeah. the same thing, though. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And so, yeah, it was dope over there, man. It was dope. It was it was nice, man. It was, it was, a, it was a weird upbringing, man. You know what I'm saying? Because at the time when I was growing up over there, man, there wasn't really a lot of Mexicans over there. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, so what was it like growing up around there with just a whole bunch of like was like like running around the neighborhood and shit, like going to school, like is like Yeah, it was the same like pretty much the same thing, like, you know, just running around the school, man. People were fucking playing dodgeball, paintball and shit like that, dog. People were actually popping BB guns out there and shit like that, dog. So did you like these are kids doing like some white kid shit, but like some white kid with money type shit. Like, yeah, they had, four, <laughs> they had four wheelers out there, dog, you know what I'm saying? Fucking trampolines, dude. Uh, Damn. I had a I had a homeboy named Daniel Fan, man. He had a fucking half pipe in his backyard, bro. His fucking dad was a fucking uh, his dad was a was he worked he was a like the the fire chief dude or some shit like that. Bro. Oh shit, damn. You know what I'm saying like, but, uh, we're when I was a kid, we're renting we're renting the trailer, man, on his property, bro. You know what I'm saying like. His dad had two houses that was on his property, and we're renting the trailer over there like that. Oh really? And so like, yeah, it was dope, bro. It was it was it was nice, man. It was alright. God uh, damn, were you playing like any sports or anything growing up in like elementary or middle school? In elementary, nah, man. When I was in when I was in middle school, man, I started playing football, bro, over there. But I was going to Cal Alley, man. They had them big old white boys over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, different like, breed over there, right? Yeah, it, they corn fed. Right? Boys are you big. Know what I'm saying the boys are big, man. The boys got beards and everything. By the time of seventh grade, bro, you know what I'm saying? And it was just like, not now. Like when I, I, I go to the I, I go to the games now, you know what I'm saying? They look like kids, kids now. You know what I'm saying? Back then, they didn't look like that. Yeah, yeah. It's about our age right now, you know. What I'm hell saying? yeah, <laughs> like, hell for real. yeah. Shit, were you getting into like any trouble, anything like as a man, youngster? Dude, shit, hell yeah, I was getting in trouble, man. I, man, I'm, I was like a. What age you start getting in trouble? At? What we'll start right man, there, man, bro? I, Not even like <laughs> maybe even with like like the police or anything. I'm just talking about just like with maybe principals at school in the neighborhood or anything like that you can remember. Man, I was I was a bad kid, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Cause man. I'm I'm almost looking at it like I'm probably figuring like growing up over there in that area, like a, it's a bunch of kids that's probably like spoiled because they probably have. And I look at it, it's probably like both. You got like a bunch of haves over there and a bunch of have nots. Yeah, you, you do. You have a bunch of haves and have nots, and they they're all over there. They're together. all yeah yeah. You know what I'm so saying? I'm so it's kind of it's kind of tripped out, man. Uh, the kids that are kind of like spoiled and shit, they probably yeah. like feel entitled and fucking. Also get away with a lot of shit type shit. No, they they really do, man. Like shit is out, man. Shit is out. How how I ended up over there, man, was uh, I don't know if you remember whenever they opened up Alanis Gardens over there, man. We were living over here in uh, in La Mada, man, when I was a kid, kid. Okay, you know what I'm saying. And uh, they opened up Alanis Gardens over there, man, over there for Violet, man. And what are those like? Were those like some apartments? Those are, the, those are the, the, another another set of projects. You know okay, what so they're they, projects, but yeah, in Annaville. But they, yeah, but they put them over there. But they put them right there in the in the middle of a suburb, bro. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? So these are like La Mata style projects. Yeah. Okay. And they bet. put and they, they put them right in the fucking middle of a suburb. All the fucking number of white people around. Damn. They got these fucking two story houses and all this. You know what I'm saying? They put us right in the middle of that shit, dog. So like, uh, we're we're. My mom and you know everybody at that though we were like the like one of the first families man that actually filled up that spot man you know what I'm saying okay because whenever they put us in there they were still building the back oh really yeah you know hell what I'm yeah saying? Hell they were still yeah. building the back and everything like that that's how we ended up over there man 
And so, like, yeah, it was it was crazy, man. Like, the, the trouble that we were getting over there, man, like, okay, like you're saying, like, you're, the have-nots and the haves, you know yeah. what I'm saying, like this. When they put us in the middle of that fucking, in that, in that neighborhood, man, you know, all the little kids, they had bikes, man. They had trampolines. They had all this. Yeah. And so, like, you know, us, man, we running over there jacking bikes from home, dogs. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? All that crazy shit, dog. And so, like, yeah, I mean, like, it was, it's been from the jump, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't really have a, I didn't really have a father figure back then. My mom was only, like, 14 years older than me, bro. Oh, you know shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, she was still a kid herself, dog. And we were living over there, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And so, she's doing her thing. And, and we running around doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? Hell, yeah. Those areas back then, I remember, were, were rich kids. Like, that whole Cat Island and Annabelle. So, when you're saying, like, they all had bikes and shit, that is true, dog, because... Well, that's yeah, why I say yeah, it was like yeah. the have nots because I remember it like is. some kids from like that area like, and this was just what you would hear. It's either like it's the same shit with Flower Blood for like a lot of people make jokes about like, oh, from Flower Blood, from Flower Blood, but man, it's a lot of motherfuckers in Flower Bluff that got that bread. Yeah, like, don't nah, get shit fucked that, up, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's what the same thing when I think of like fucking Teloso and fucking like Adaville, like Cal Island area. Like, I literally think of like it's literally. The haves and the have nots. You got the people that are living in the fucking big ass fucking three fucking four bedroom houses, two story houses, but then you got the people who are living in the fucking trailers and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that, right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 literally both. Both. Yeah. And literally, maybe not even know in between. It's nah, damn near what it seems yeah, like. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's exactly what it is. Right there, man. There's really no in between. There's people that have money over there and there's people who don't have money. Bro. Yeah, hell and yeah. And it's crazy, man, is that they're all over, they're all together over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the trick. That's it's a trip that spot, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. When you start fucking around with like the music shit, man. I was about I started fucking around on music shit when I was about like 14, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh my my homeboy Bobby Stump, man. You know, shout out Bobby Stump, DJ Stump. You know what I'm saying? Free B Free Dick Free Bobby free Stump, Bobby man. Stump, dog, free DJ shit. Stump, man. He's sitting down for a little bit over there at Safe P. Hell yeah, man. And so, like, yeah, he is. Uh, his dad bought him some uh, some tur- some turntables, man. I remember he was telling his dad he wanted to start DJing and shit. And so his dad went over there and bought him the whole spot, bro. You know what I'm saying? He bought him the whole setup, dog. He even bought him the fog machine and all that Damn. shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? And how old were y'all at this time? Dude, we're like, like I'm saying, I was like 14, bro. I was Damn. Like, I, was like, I was like 14 years old, bro. And Stump is the same age as you? Yeah, he's like he's okay, like bet. So 14 yeah, years yeah. old, his pops buys him a set of turntables, a mixer. Fog machine, lights, and all that shit too. All that shit. He yeah. had the whole. Yeah. Fucking, hey, I, I, yeah, I, I remember. Damn. I remember when Bobby's dad rolled up, dog. You know what I'm saying? He, he put up in a fucking. He had a trailer, dog, in the back, bro. You know what I'm saying? He put up in the truck, had a trailer in the back, and he told Bobby, man, go ahead and you know what I'm saying. And so fucking, Bobby was. He, he called me. He said, hey man, I got my shit, man. Come over, man. This and that, blah 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 blah. He started showing me. Dude, he even uh, his dad even bought him a whole bunch of crates, bro. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of crates of fucking things. Damn. God damn. And so uh. Bobby's like, yeah, come, come mess with, come mess with my shit, and this is at the time, yeah, this is fucking, I got you. This is at the time that you know, like, screw the chop is real big, dog. They have the switching house running around, you know, freestyle kings, all that other shit, DSR. Okay, so this was probably a little bit right after the right after Screw had passed away when everybody else was doing like yeah, it was when everybody mimicking else, yeah. the Screw the, the Screw. It's when everybody okay. else started doing it. Okay, right? it Screw, yeah, it was when everybody else started doing it. it they had like a, the Beltway Eights, the yeah, Freestyle yeah, yeah. Kings, Switch House, and every every other DJ. That every, has a everybody turntable. was doing yeah, Rapid <laughs> Rick, all that shit. Dog, and a mic, hell yeah. And uh, 